Hello, we are the team of Yemanja. Welcome behind the scenes. Yemanja is a movie about survival. We wanted to examine the world where people had adapted to the environment in order to protect themselves. We created an entire world from scratch. This made the pre-production and concept art crucial parts of the process. We wanted very tall and striking dwellings so that the background would be interesting even from far away. I developed several concepts before creating a huge teepee made from the skins of the sea creatures. Then I added bamboo scaffolding to highlight the size. Next, I created several versions of this asset in CG in order to add diversity. I was an FX specialist working on fluid and particle simulation. First, in the exterior shots, I had a small group of insects moving around. But that didn't create enough tension. So, I designed a swarm. Next, I developed a setup in Houdini that allowed me to play with all the parameters and easily change the behavior of this swarm. Finally, to save time and to be more effective, I used multiple passes to adjust the depth and density as needed. This allowed the compositing team to manage the density of the simulations in Nuke. For the first exterior shot, I created the camera movement via Nuke. Then, I organized my 3D space with projections on cards. Once the pre-compositing was ready, I concentrated on improving the look of the shot. Using Flora's concept as a base, I did the relating on the plate. Then, I replaced the original sky to match the new lighting. In five shots, I used an animated displacement map to create an ocean surface and define the movement of the water. In my concept, I use sharp lighting to outline the shape of the swarm and make more of a contrast between the different sides of the teepees. I also made the base of the floating island appear through the water. For the attack, we wanted the dynamic camera movement to add more intensity to our scenes. But during the shooting, we filmed it as a fixed shot. So I faked the camera movement in Nuke by recreating the environment with some projection and CGI. As a CG artist, I worked on the look dev and the lighting of the basin for the interior shots. I was also in charge of the CG for all the underwater shots. I created several modules of bamboo for the bottom of the raft. For the CG model of the big creature, I added anatomical details to the concept and the surfacing. To create the CG bushes, I developed a setup using Soup's Instancer and the Speed Tree asset created by Etienne. I worked with Marceau on the underwater scenes. The main problem I had was conveying the density of the water in a realistic way. I began by recreating the 3D environment in Nuke using the normal and position passes in order to have more freedom during the compositing. Finally, I used a lot of talk shot projections to find the atmosphere we wanted and I created some effects of bubbles and assets floating in the water. For close-ups on the raft and the basin, I added details like seaweed and ropes. This made the scale more understandable, but it created workflow issues because the Maya scenes were very heavy. To optimize the scenes, I worked with Arnold standings and cached geometry for the display. I was in charge of rigging both the big and the small creature. The goal was to make them as graceful and flexible as possible. Using enclave simulation would have taken too long to set up and compute. So, I decided to stack the formers instead. 
That method helped achieve the same results with a faster rig in the shortest amount of time. During the filming of the final shot, the crane we used wasn't tall enough to give us the view that we wanted. So I tracked the rest and recreated the CG layer to make a projection. Next, I developed a set extinction using CG bushes and an ocean shader to make this scene more dramatic and to allow the audience to fly over the landscape. My goal was to create a new camera movement while avoiding deformation in the projected shot. When we captured the final shot in Camargue, the lighting was darker than we wanted. So I took advantage of the CG extension to create a sunset in the background that allowed us to keep the foreground untouched while still highlighting the devastated landscape. I composited several environment shots. One of them was an establishing shot that I created from my concept. The biggest challenge was reproducing a realistic scene. Initially, I planned on using stock shots, but it was difficult to find the right perspective and light direction. So, I used the notion of shader to prepare two levels with different scales and speeds for the animation of the waves. For the opening of the movie, using Flora's concept, I created everything from the matte painting to the animation of the camera. Finally, in order to be as efficient as possible, I worked in parallel on Photoshop and Maya to develop the matte painting according to the movement of camera mapping. I wanted to show the scale and the shape of the island, so I based my work in a layout in Maya. This allowed me to simulate the ocean surface, create clouds with Maya fleet box, and use CGI assets. Next, I studied the parallax between the clouds and the ocean specular. Then, I reproduced that in Maya and the 3D space of Nuke. We want to thank ETM School and Emmanuel Fasciani for working with us to create the music. We hope you enjoyed exploring our world. Thank you all for watching.